From the Kingdom, the big crowd is gathering in here in Seattle. All roads seem to lead to the Kingdom these days. More than 100,000 fans were here for the first two games of this series, and more than 40 should be here tonight. Now, in the American League East, the Yankees being challenged by Baltimore, and Baltimore winning today, the Yanks just a game ahead of them. Over in the West, the defending champions, the Seattle Mariners, four games back of Texas. Texas also won today. Well, as you can hear, the folks here are ready for, they're ready to rumble here. The Mariners and the Yankees, it's turned into a great rivalry since last October, as you might imagine. What a lineup leading the majors in homers and runs scored. Well, with the emergence of shortstop Alex Rodriguez as a power force, this is probably, gonna, this team's going to rival the Cleveland Indians before the season is over. But I think Dwight Gooden is going to have a lot more pressure on him tonight than the Mariners will. They have never seen uh, Gooden before they faced him in New York. They have all seen him now. They will all go in with a game plan tonight, whereas last time they just went in swinging the bats. John Miller, Joe Morgan, ESPN Sunday Night Baseball's Game of the Week from the Kingdom in Seattle. And you can see a big crowd has gathered once again here in Seattle. Now, Joe Torre, the new manager of the Yankees, and the Yanks have hit real well, and they have scored a lot of runs, too. But it's been the Yankee pitching that really has kept them at the top of the American League East. Here is the sensational Alex Rodriguez. He is hitting 349 and 35 runs batted in. And he's only made two errors at shortstop. Yeah, with numbers like that, they would uh, they would tend to love Alex Rodriguez. Started he's hitting down in the lineup. They've moved him up to second. That's a base hit. There will be no no hitter tonight. Since he's moved up to second, he's been hitting over 400. And that's exactly what happened to Ken Griffey Jr. He started off low in the order. They moved him to second in front of Al Alvin Davis, who was here at the time. Now Rodriguez is hitting in front of Ken Griffey Jr. So he's taking advantage of it. Good pitch there by Gooden. Fastball over the outside part of the plate. He pulled it in the hole for a base hit. But look where he is now, two weeks later, 3-0-3. Tied for fifth in the league with 15 home runs. And many of those have come lately. Back to the bag at first is Alex Rodriguez. Rodriguez is only 20 years old. And in a way, Joe, I guess it's appropriate he gets the first hit here tonight because he had the closest call to getting a hit in the no-hitter 12 days ago. Gerald Williams making a great catch against him in center field. Gooden starts him off with a changeup on the first pitch. And that's a little bit different from the old Dwight Gooden. The guy who threw 98 miles an hour. And that breaking one is in the dirt. Second will go Rodriguez. This season, and he has turned into a bona fide star, just about the same time Ken Griffey Jr. did last year. And here's a player against a guy that you've seen play a lot, John. Cal Ripken in the hole. He gets up and fires a strike. Look at that arm. Oh, what a play. Alex Rodriguez, uh, he told us after that game, Joe, that uh, he prides himself on defense. And we were, you know, he he hit a big home run and uh, had won the ball game and all that. But what he wanted to talk about was an error he made later. Rough right here for some of the young kids, but uh, no better way to learn than uh, at the major league level. Ryan Papa, Shadow, Center Field, and Alex Rodriguez takes it and Wade Boggs he is retired for out number one. Menhart's got him twice now. Paul O'Neill is on there. Here's Alex Rodriguez. Won the Mariners against the Yankees, last of the third. Alex Rodriguez against Dwight Good. He's got that three-run rally started with a solid single to left. He is only 20 years old. He'll turn 21 in late July. He had a grand slam and drove in six of that game. Looked like he was going to be the hero with an eighth-inning grand slam to put his team ahead. And he takes a call strike two with a curve. <laughs> He's a young guy, Joe. Well, you see, Gooden pitching a little differently the second time around, and now he stayed away since that first pitch. High in the air, the right field. It's a short portion of the field. O'Neill is back. Hold on! was a pop-up he was late on it and it's a fastball away and he's late and he pops it up and the ball still goes out of the ballpark you can see he did not have a good swing 
on his 312 feet to the foul pole of the corner and not much deeper to the part where he hit it. You can do anything. Look at this. There's Rodriguez on the left, Edgar on the right there. Those two plus Griffey. 16 hits and 33 bats in this series. They've driven in 15 runs in a three-game series. That's just the three of them. And they recover here. This could be two. Menhart does the job. He turns the ball over, gets the sinking fastball in, and he grounds it off to shortstop. That's like perfect six to four to three. It doesn't get any easier than that. Sunday night baseball continues. Last of the fifth, here's Alex Rodriguez. It is now four to two for the Mariners. Rodriguez has lined a single in the left field, and he's hit a high, lazy fly for a home run into the short porch in right field. He is two for two. He is four. On the other hand, he's only 20 years old. That is a fair ball from Tex Ray into the bullpen. O'Neill's got to chase it, but Rodriguez is already into a trot. He's got a double. I mean, he tried to check his swing, but things are going well for him right now. You see, he tried to check it, but it's a line drive inside of the first base bag. Nothing anyone can do. In fact, it hits the outside part of the line, so. He may be on just the face of one man, because the left-hander, Howell, is throwing in the Yankee bullpen. Alex Rodriguez. He's right. Rodriguez. He flops the button and takes a slider for a strike in the outside. The starting pitcher. And he struggled terribly. of these shortstops can fly. I mean, I watched Jeter run out that last double playground ball he hit, and I mean, he was really getting down the line. He thought he was going to be able to get him, but Rodriguez gets out of the box quickly, off balance. He still gets enough on the throw. That's just a lot of speed there. See, he's moving as towards first base when he hit it. You can see, I mean, he can pick it up and lay him down. <laughs> Six pitch inning for Charlton.